Hey Floss Tube, it's Holly, Mrs. Jones Stitches. Welcome to Floss Tube number 12. Um, I'm happy to be back this week. As you can tell, I have been um, a little under the weather. I've been kind of sick for the last two weeks. Um, nothing serious. I think it's just the, the kind of crud that's going around. Everything I tested for was negative. So we're just uh, getting better and getting over it. Um, if you're new here, welcome. Um, I had a lot of new subscribers since my last two videos, um, so welcome. I hope you um, get a lot of inspiration from this channel. Feel free to go back and watch some of my older videos to see um, some really cute finishes, and um, I'm so glad you're here. So, what is new? Um, well, I signed up for the All Things Winter uh, Annabella's Retreat. That will be January 6th through the 8th in Palm Beach, Florida. I'm really excited about it. It's my first um, in-person retreat. I um, am bringing my husband with me. We decided that for Christmas that we were not going to get each other any gifts. Um, our sixth wedding anniversary is this coming Friday. So we decided for an anniversary gift and a Christmas gift that we were going to go to Florida. Um, I obviously am going to the retreat and my husband is going on a guided fishing trip at Lake Okeechobee. So I'm really excited to get some time with him uh, while we each get to do some hobbies that we enjoy. So um, I am super pumped. I have watched a whole lot of videos from people who went to the Annabella's retreat in November just to, um, to kind of see what it's about. Um, the designer for this one is Primrose Cottage. So we've gotten our retreat piece to start stitching. I'm about two thirds of the way done with mine right now. Um, and I'm really looking forward to um, meeting some of my floss tube friends and some of my Instagram friends in person. So um, I know Jessica the Sweetwater Stitcher is gonna be there. Chantel from 141 Design is gonna be there. Uh, Michelle McGraw and my friend Hannah. Hannah's gonna be there too. So I'm really looking forward to it um, I'm looking forward to the smalls exchange the freebie table and lots of good shopping. So I'm really excited about that um, I participated in the jingle ball this last weekend and it was top-notch I'd never done um, a virtual retreat before either. So I was really excited about that the um, Shopping was fantastic. The meet and greets were great. I got to participate in the um, hands-on design meet and greet and the frosted pumpkin meet and greet. And those were really awesome. But my favorite part was honestly the, um, the virtual stitching tables. Excuse me, let me grab a drink real quick. Um, Friday night, I was in the Holly Jolly pajama party room. That was a good time. There were about, I think, 60 people in there. So it was really fun kind of visiting and seeing what everybody was working on. And then Saturday, I spent the majority of my time in the, um, I think it was called the Christmas cocktail room. And we had a small group to begin with and then it kind of grew exponentially through the evening. And um, that was a hoot and a half. We had the best time. We had a really fun group of ladies in there and um, we were kind of all dreading um, midnight when when the room would shut down. So we actually started a little uh, Facebook group of our own um, so we could kind of continue to connect with each other and um, stay in touch. So it was a really good time. It was really fun seeing some of the people that I watch on FlossTube and meeting some of my subscribers too. Um, so it was, it was a really good time. Um, if you did not make it to this year's Jingle Ball, I highly recommend it for next year. Um, there were a couple of technical difficulties that people reported. I didn't really have any technical difficulties other than I kept typing in the access code and not the registrant ID number. So, um, but that was my only technical difficulty. Um, but I think next year they'll have like more kinks worked out, but it was great. I got um, a lot of patterns, which I'll show here in um, a little bit in my um, haul section. But it was a great time and I want to, you know, just thank um, Stephanie from Lindy Stitches and all the other designers who worked really hard to put this on because it was really, really a great event. Um, okay, so let's hop into it. I have some previous finishes 
This um, I finished since my last video. This is Hot Cocoa from Stitching with the Housewives. This is stitched on 28 count black Monaco. Um, I used my own colors. I like to stitch with color and cotton. And so I stayed true to the called for, but I just did my own conversion. Um, one thing I like about color and cotton is the variegation. Um, and you can really see that here in Santa's jammies quite a bit. Um, this is my uh, one of my favorite reds. It's called Bing Cherry. Um, and my green was mistletoe. I can't remember what my white was, but if you follow me on Instagram, I am at Mrs. Jones Stitches, and I have all my colors listed there. But this was a really fun stitch. Um, this year for Christmas, I have a hot cocoa bar in my kitchen, so I'm really looking forward to fully finishing this and having it um, in my kitchen. Okay. I have a couple whips. Um, let me start. Well, I have the Annabella's piece, which obviously I can't share since it's further retreat and it's not a release pattern yet. But what I will show you is um, I'll show you the called for stuff that they sent us. So I got this in the mail last week. This is the called for fabric. This is 28 count ash, or I'm sorry, light ash gray. Um, by Zweig Art and let me arrange these out here so you can see the color palette for this pattern it's really pretty so there's the color palette it's got three shades of blue two greens a pink orange a white uh, charcoal and kind of like a, a really pretty brown so this is lovely um, my house is more traditional and my wood in my house is a really pretty honey oak and so i usually don't stitch a whole lot of gray because i gray is more of a cooler color and in my house i kind of have more warm tones so i did my piece on a 32 count natural linen and if you've ever seen the splash linen the splash i think it's actually even weave but um there's several different kinds there's um like a mint, like a real pale blue with kind of white, looks like paint splatter on it. There's white with pink paint splatter and there's like a charcoal. Anyway, um, I thought it'd be really pretty to do it in the natural with a splash to it. So um, I couldn't find any like that, so I just made my own. I took, um, I took my fabric. Let me see if I have a part that I can show without showing the pattern here. Um, I don't really. So here's what I'm going to do. Okay. So what I did, there you go. So what I did was I took my natural linen right here and I just got some white paint and a toothbrush and I dipped it and I used my thumb and my fingernail and just kind of flicked um, the bristles of the brush and it gave me this really cool kind of splatter paint um, design on my linen so that's what I did for that um, I don't particularly enjoy stitching snowflakes um, because it involves a lot of traveling in the back and I just don't like I don't like traveling and I don't like um, stitching snowflakes so I thought if I did my own paint splatter that it would still give it the snow effect without making a lot of, um, you know, stitch, individual stitches for only, you know, four or six stitches. So anyway, um, that's what I did for my linen. I did pick my own color and cotton color palette, which is right here. I still have the same, I have, you know, three blues. I have a light green and dark green, an orange, a pink, a gray, a charcoal, and a brown. Um, all very similar to um, what was sent but these just have a lot more variegation to them so I went ahead and did that like I said I'm about two-thirds of the way done it's a really cute pattern and I'm so excited for you to see it so um, I'm really looking forward to that one and for the smalls exchange for um, the uh, retreat 
I really want to stitch something that is not seasonal. That's not a holiday. So I want just a good everyday piece. And so what I had picked was this pattern here. This is Stitchville by Thimble Blossoms. And I just thought it was a really pretty pattern. It is great for every day. It's colorful, so no matter what kind of color palette you have in your home, um, it will still look nice. Um, I've been working on it for a few days, and this is how far I've gotten. And I picked my own colors, although I did stay true to similar colors that were called for. Now, I don't think I'm gonna end up bringing this to the retreat to give away, and let me tell you why. This pattern has a lot of half stitches on them. I do not like back stitches, and I do not like half stitches. Um, they're just not my favorite, and every rooftop on this house comes to a point. So there are a lot of half stitches. Now, I think mine look good, but I'm a perfectionist. If I'm going to make something that I'm going to be giving away, I want it to be as close to perfect as I can. And while it looks good, it does not look perfect. Um, so I think I'm probably going to hang on to this and just stitch it for myself and do something different for the retreat um, exchange because I want it to be pretty close to perfect if I'm going to give it away. So I love this pattern. I have a whole, you know, three more sides of houses to do. So hopefully by the time I'm done with this, I will have perfected the half stitch, but it um, it's proving a little more difficult for me than what I um, would like. So I'm still looking for a good pattern for the retreat. So if you have a favorite pattern that is just kind of an everyday pattern, um, not themed, not, you know, a holiday or a season, um, would you leave me a comment below and tell me what pattern it is so maybe I can look it up? Because I am struggling finding um, another piece because I really thought that that one was going to be like the perfect one for me to do and I don't think it's going to work out. So... I would love to hear your suggestion. Um, okay, so one thing I'm doing on my Instagram this week, and I'm gonna share it here too, is um, I am doing um, a week of stocking stuffers. So if you have a husband, kids, a stitchy friend, um, and they need ideas for you, a cross stitcher, to stuff your stocking, um, make sure you follow me on Instagram. It's at Mrs. Jones Stitches. And all this week, um, and maybe a little bit longer, I'm going to be posting stocking stuffer ideas for you to let your friends and family know. Um, all you can do, it's super easy. You just tag them in my post. Um, some lady did it earlier today and said like, you know, at, I think she, you know, tagged her daughter, like, these are some great ideas. So um, I'm really excited to show, you know, some ideas. And the good news is most of these things are gonna be under $10. So super affordable, readily available. It's nothing that, you know, is out of print or, you know, difficult to find or anything like that. So today I started with this sweet, Sweet color palette. This is all DMC. And with the pink, the red, the white, the green, and the and the blue, I just thought it was a really sweet, whimsical Christmas color palette. Um, and DMC is incredibly affordable. It's readily available at most craft stores. Um, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, online shops, local shops, really easy and affordable. Um, so these colors I picked are 3811, 520, Blanc, 304 is the red, and 604 is the pink. So I just thought it was a really pretty palette, um, whimsical, soft, um, a nice wintry Christmas palette. 
Okay, so there's the one for today. Uh, make sure you follow my Instagram. And it doesn't necessarily even have to be this palette. It could just be, you know, your loved one going and picking out 10 skeins of DMC for you. Or, you know, if you have a secret sister or, um, you know, a secret Santa at work or something, and they like to do crafts, these are around 50 cents a skein. So you can just go and pick out a bunch of pretty colors. I know I would love that. So great, great stocking stuffer idea. And one thing I'm gonna start doing, I think more next year, is I'm gonna really focus a lot on just pretty color palettes. Um, I always feel like I get a lot of compliments from people on my color palettes that I choose. Um, I get a lot of private messages asking me what um, color palettes that I like um, and to help them pick out colors as well. So I think I'm just gonna go through some of my flosses and if I find a really pretty palette, um, I'm just gonna take pictures of it and share it on my Instagram because I figure if if I think something's pretty, then you might think it's pretty too. And maybe you have the perfect chart in mind, but you're struggling with a color palette choice. So here's just five really pretty colors that you, know, you can find a chart that you like and there you go. So um, I actually have two more sets here for next week that I'm gonna start um, sharing and I'm really looking forward to it. So, um, let's do some haul. I kind of went a little wild on Black Friday. Um, there were a lot of really good sales, and I feel like cross-stitch stuff doesn't go on sale really frequently. Or if it does, excuse me, it might be like 10 or 15% off, but Fat Quarter Shop had a really good sale on Heart and Hand um, for Black Friday. It was 30% off. I don't have a whole lot of heart and hand patterns. I have a lot of, um, you know, Lizzie Kate and things like that. And I have a lot of heart and hand patterns that I really like, but um, I just had not ever, um, you know, pulled the trigger on, on getting them. So with the 30% off, I got a lot. So this is Heartware, December 25th. And a lot of these two would be great ornaments. So. Just because they use it to top this bowl does not mean you have to do that. You can stitch it as an ornament. Um, you can stitch it and put it in just one of those little um, four by four frames and give it as a gift. That would be cute too. So there's this one. I love this. I've had this in my cart forever and I just never bought it. Um, it was always you. I think this would be really pretty for an anniversary piece. We have a very Merry Christmas. holiday home for Valentine's this love one and this Mary making mini I did get the doodles Christmas I love that Christmas tree it's so pretty I got big hearted tiny town I got the Christmas square dance number two I love this one with the car and all the trees. And I got Rudolph's Reindeer Games. This is the first pattern I've purchased from Cherry Hill Stitchery. And it is gorgeous. Super, super cute. I love this font right here. And inside, they have this pattern in both color and black and white. So whatever you're comfortable stitching, there are options. I also, from the D-Stash sites, got Santa's Tree Farm by Brenda Gervais. And I got Hello Winter from Primrose Cottage. Um, also, I have Early Christmas Morning from Blackbird Designs. And I'm really excited to start this. I don't know that I'll get it done this year but or before this Christmas but after I stitched Oh Joyous Day in May last year for Mania I really have enjoyed Blackbird design patterns um when I was first stitching these were not my favorite they just kind of seemed really old-fashioned to me honestly but as I've grown in my stitching these are very appealing they're just timeless 
So I'm really looking forward to stitching this. I've not stitched a Blackbird Christmas one before, so I think this is gonna be super fun. Um, and I've started getting more PDF patterns. I have not um, done a lot of PDF because I like a tangible thing to hold. I like being able to write on it. I like being able to make my notes. So I have Cardinal Claws. I love this Roundabout series too. Um, I feel like Priscilla and Chelsea, they do a lot of really great things, but they generally knock Christmas out of the park. Um, their Christmas designs are so cute and I really love that they've done a lot more stitching on <coughs> excuse me they've done a lot more stitching on fabric that is not black um, I like black fabric I like stitching on black fabric it is not difficult for me to see but I know a lot of people um, don't like stitching on black they'll stitch on charcoal or a different color but um, I really have enjoyed um, seeing these on the lighter fabric and stitching um, stitching them and the round finish is adorable so that pattern right there came with two the bonus chart I think is cuter than this one I think the bonus chart might be like one of my favorites from that roundabout series I also got sleigh rides Um, the Mr. and Mrs. This is a freebie from the Jingle Ball, the Jingle Ball logo. So I think that would be really fun to stitch and add to my um, stitching tree uh, just to commemorate the Jingle Ball. It was a really, really fun event. From the Jingle Ball, I love this pattern. It's called Peppermint Candy and it's by Lindy Stitches. Peppermint Candy, Gingerbread Spice, Christmas Means Everything Nice. So cute. What else did I get from the Jingle Ball? It's in the kitchen. I'll have to go get those. So I don't have a printer at my house. So whenever I get a PDF, I send it to Staples and have it printed on really nice paper. Um, that way it holds up for a long time. So um, I have that. Let me show you. My mom and dad love estate sales. I like estate sales too. But this week they went to an estate sale and she was a cross stitcher. And she had a lot of kits, which I don't really do a whole lot of like the prepackaged kits. They're just not my favorite. But my mom found me this 32 count cream Belfast. Super pretty. And I was really excited about this. This is Girls Night Out from Kathy Barrick. That's what the pattern looks like. It's in a case. It's a little bit thicker than like a CD case. But look, it came with the silks. It is Milk Paint Colors in Krynic Silk Mori in this chart. Um, and it's in the chart. But look at those colors. Are those not beautiful? I've never stitched with silk before. So I'm really looking forward to stitching with this and trying out silk. I think it's going to be really fun. And I'm sure it's going to be addicting. So stay tuned and we'll make something pretty with this. Um, I got several more patterns from the Jingle Ball. But I chose to get the paper option and not the PDF. So I'm waiting on those to arrive. I got um, the ornament book. I got Oh Christmas 3. No. Yes, Oh Christmas 3. No, I'm sorry. I got the tree lot with the three Christmas trees. That's the one I got. I got that from Hands On Design. <coughs> I got the Holly Jolly chart pack. And I got, oh, Christmas 3 is a PDF, and I just had it printed, so I need to go get that. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm pumped about that. And then I got a few from, what's the other shop? I cannot remember the other name of the shop. But I got two other patterns, too, that are really, really pretty. Um, I'm really looking forward to that. So... 
I think, I think that might be it. Um, okay, real quick, we're going to do the giveaway for the vintage buttons that we did last week. I guess it's two weeks ago, but last time. So I put in the word, which was button. And start raffle and pick a random winner. So we had a total of 85 comments that used the word, and here we go. Congratulations, Micah. She said, I love the antique buttons. I have some too. So Micah, what I need you to do is I need you to comment on uh, this video, shoot me a message on Instagram. My name is at Mrs. Jones Stitches, and send me your address, and I will get the buttons um, shipped out to you this week. And let's, for next week, for the next giveaway, I will give away, I'm going to do a DMC floss bundle. So if you would like to win the DMC floss bundle, I want you to leave me a comment using the word floss and you will be entered to win. I don't have the colors picked yet, but it will be, it'll be something pretty. So um, use the word floss if you'd like to enter the giveaway for this week, and we'll see.